Let's take a look at race number 11 on Saturday. It's the grade one sword dancer at Saratoga. It's a mile and a half on turf. It's a purse of $750,000. It's not the strongest running of the sword dancer. I think this race is kind of wide open. Let's take a look at the field. At 5 to 1, it's the one horse, Soldier Rising. Soldier Rising uh, ran in this race uh, last year. Where he finished third, only behind by one. He's 13 to 1. And, uh, he's got a couple of back to back second place finishes in grade one races this year. Finished second in the Man of War. And after that, finished second in the Manhattan. Last time out in the Bowling Green, he, he had a, a rough trip in that, in that race. He got bumped. And then the favorite in the race threw his jockeys. His horse had to check. He just, he just had no chance in the Bowling Green. I'm going to throw that race out for him. Getting 5-1 to one on the One Horse Soldier Rising, written by Jose Ortiz. I'm going to use the one horse on my tickets. At eight to one is the two horse for stepping. And he's got a pretty good record this year. Out of six races, two wins, two seconds. And a third. Uh, he ran in the Man of War a few races back, where right? he finished uh, seventh in that race. And then he was favored in, in, in Indianapolis and uh, finished third. Last time out of second place finish in the Bowling Green. Does have a win at the distance. Getting eight to one on a two horse for Staten. Take a look at the three. Trained by Aiden O'Brien. It's Bolshoi Ballet, five to one. Last time out at Royal Ascot, he was 125 to one. He's 5-1 to one in this race. It's a big drop-off in class in this one, isn't it? Uh, oh, he's 0-5 for 5 at the distance. But uh, he's done pretty well back in 2021. It's actually the last time he's won a race. That was the Belmont Derby. 2022, they only got one race with him, so he's, he's had trouble staying on the track, this horse. This year, he's run a couple thirds and second. He's only getting five to one on Bolshoi Ballet, but he's trained by Aiden O'Brien, so he's going to take money. Written by John Velasquez. Twenty to one. Let's take a look at the four horse, Dawn. Long shot in the field. Out of 15 races, he only has two wins. And well, he doesn't like Saratoga so much. He's 0 for 5 at Saratoga. Last time out in the Bowling Green, he did finish fourth at 33 to 1. Javier Castellanos aboard, you get 20 to 1 on the four horse. Don't. Let's take a look at the five at 8 to 1. It's pioneering spirit. Uh, Jose Ortiz written his horse four times, four straight wins. Uh, he's getting off to ride Soldier Rising, but hey, look, his brother Irad is getting on. It's not like you're having a drop off in Jock. It's claimed for forty thousand dollars four races back, and uh, he just keeps winning. Keeps showing improvement. Well, then the Rice is going to take a chance to run him in the grade one race. So this isn't the strongest sword dancer ever. So, yeah, he's taking a step up in class. He's got Irad aboard. Got to win at the racetrack. Getting 8 to 1 on Pioneer and Spirit. I'll use this horse in my exotics. Let's take a look at the nine year old Gallup. It's the six horse. It's Channel Maker. I thought Channel Maker was done. I thought Channel Maker was ready for retirement. 
Well, last time out, Channel Maker proved me wrong. They let him get the lead, and he just crawled on the lead. They, he went at a snail's pace. And, uh, you let him do that again, well, he's not, he's not going to be retiring anytime soon. I mean, look at, look at those fractures he said. 50 at the half, 116, six furlongs, my goodness. Now, the favorite in that race did throw his jockey. But Channel Maker won at 15 to 1 to Bowling Green last time out. You got to think they're going to put some pressure on him in this race. They can't let him get away with fractions like that again. If they do, he could be tough to chase down again. He's won nearly $4 million in his lifetime. I'm going to use the nine-year-old Galvin, channel maker, on my tickets. Take a look at the seven horse Stone Age. Maybe he might pressure Channel Maker a little bit. Now the 15 races, he only has two wins. The last time he won was May of 2022. You're getting six to five morning line sauce. That's pretty low. It's trained by Chad Brown. This is his first start with Chad, and he's written by Flavian Pratt. He's been keeping some pretty good company. He's coming off more than six month layoff, though. He can run all day. Distance shouldn't be a problem for him, or even though he's 0 for 4 at this particular distance. He does have a second. He is owned by Peter Brandt. I will use him on my tickets. So these are the horses I'm using. I think this is just a wide open field. There is no dominant horse at all in this squared one sword dancer. I'm using Soldier Rising. I'm using Pioneer and Spirit, Channel Maker, Stone Age. Horse I'm gonna pick to win this race. Let's go with the five to one Soldier Rising. I think he's gonna bounce back pretty nicely out of that bowling green. He had just a terrible, awful trip. Picking Soldier Rise in the win. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Let me know who you're picking in this wide open sword dancer. Good luck.